Hi from the Czech Republic. Uh, today my lesson will be uh, focused on key concept of C++ programming which is polymorphism. Uh, but know that unless you have understanding of other topics such as inheritance and passing by reference you can never understand uh, what polymorphism is about, right? Another thing is that uh, polymorphism uh, as a topic is very difficult to explain uh, on a theoretical level so I'll start directly by examples, right? I hope you, uh, you'll you see and you'll understand what polymorphism is about just by watching uh, what I'm doing and I will comment on it and you'll see. Okay? Good. So uh, let's assume that uh, we are having two classes. Class, mm, say, account, which is some, which is some general class. And this class has function member function uh, show balance show balance. Okay. And what this function is supposed to do is to print uh, the balance of uh, instance of the class account, right? See out balance of account is say five thousand dollars. Okay, and line. This is just some generic class, nothing specific. Okay, let's test uh, the, the piece of the code. We first initiate one instance of account. Say um, my parents are having very average account, so uh, it will be instance called parents account. Okay, account parents account. Okay, and we will also test this member function so that we will uh, see this message okay okay parents account show balance Oh, some kind of error. Ah, of course. Stupid. Now it works perfectly fine. This is just what we wanted. Okay. So my parents have $5,000 on the account. Of course, according to this piece of code. And now we are going to create a specific uh, specific class that in that inherits from uh, account, right? Say we are going to create a class uh, rich account. As I said, it. it Inherits, inherits from account, public account, okay, and we expect this class to do pretty much the same. Void show balance see that this is very s the very same function as in the parent class but we wanted to write of course different results right 
balance of which account is say one million dollars okay let's test this class so firstly we need to initiate some kind of instance of this class okay which account whose account might be uh, full of money mm, okay Bill Gates account and Bill Gates account and we want to print out what's the balance of Bill Gates account okay let's test this piece of code oh uh, yeah that's what we wanted uh, the first row is basically this piece of code the second row uh, corresponds to the second piece of code right now there is nothing about polymorphism so far this is just introduction and you will see the reference when when we want to use polymorphism right okay now assume that uh, we are going to have uh, some auxiliary function say function fn that uh, does pretty much the same as uh, both of the both of these function show balance right so what we have to pass in the function is reference to class uh, instance Okay. Uh, please keep in mind that uh, we are putting here account even though we are also going to pass instance of rich account into the function fn uh, it is just for the reason that rich account uh, is actually actually inherited from account so if we put here account it's valid for uh, both rich account and account right and as I said we are going to uh, print out the the balance or the message which is stored inside uh, both of the classes okay account show balance okay we can of course delete both of these rows because we will substitute the deleted rows with this function right okay so let's group this together and here we will apply the fn function fn and we will firstly pass a member of the, the account class which is my parents account okay let's see if it works boom it works it is pretty much the same as before okay and okay now we are going to pass uh, Bill Gates account right and see this is tricky even though we are passing Bill Gates account and we are expecting to see this message we will not see this message because mm, the compiler doesn't know uh, which uh, basically which member function to call whether this function or this function right because know that this Bill, Bill Gates account is uh, actually inherited from account right look even though we are expecting to receive this message 
we receive uh, the message which is valid for account okay Let's see hmm and what about what can we do about this uh, if we didn't know uh, the concept of polymorphism we would have to uh, write another piece of code or regroup the code I don't know just do other measurement measures measurements sorry uh, but applying the or utilizing the polymorphism we can uh, leave this piece of code as it is just by uh, using a keyword uh, virtual in here what virtual does is it tells the compiler look um, look at look at this member function and be very careful when you are passing the the reference into into another function okay because uh, you you have to uh, look um, what what is the what is the respective uh, class right so uh, if we pass basically instance of class rich account the Bill Gates account uh, the compiler will know uh, that we are calling this function right so it's basically the most Im most important property of, uh, of polymorphism that it is overloading of a parent uh, parent function even though we are passing uh, instance of rich account class into a function right okay so before uh, we had in both rows this message but now it's gonna it's gonna be fixed by putting the member function in the parent class as virtual okay see wow that's what we wanted without changing anything else in the code right so um, as you can see polymorphism uh, is basically very easy uh, but you have to know what is it what it basically does right <laughs> there is nothing complicated in polymorphism okay so I hope you uh, at least understand the, the ba very basic notion of polymorphism and uh, if if you needed something, just feel free to add a comment uh, to this video. Okay? Bye bye.